Hi, this is Jason from the QuickBooks team. If you use PayPal to process your sales and purchases, you can save time by automatically downloading your app transactions into QuickBooks. Let's go over how to record new transactions downloaded from the PayPal Connector app and how to match them to transactions already in QuickBooks. Before you can download and add transactions from PayPal, you must connect it to QuickBooks. Watch this video to learn how to do that. Select Transactions, App Transactions. Transactions listed under the For Review tab are awaiting your approval and don't appear on your reports or financial statements until you confirm them. Select a row to see additional details about a transaction. Let's look at a sale. First, you confirm who the transaction was with. If QuickBooks recognizes the customer or vendor, it automatically fills them in. You can also add a new customer or vendor, or use PayPal connector defaults. Then you see an overview of the transaction, including taxes and fees. You'll see a list of all the products and services you sold. QuickBooks tries to match what you sold to products and services in QuickBooks. When you or QuickBooks selects a product or service, the income category it's assigned to increases by the amount of the sale. If QuickBooks couldn't find an exact match, you'll see a list of possible matches. Select one from the list, or create a new product or service. If you want to split the total of a sale between multiple categories, select different products and services for each line item. Because each product and service has an income account assignment, if you select multiple products and services, you'll affect the income categories for each product and service you choose. Check out this link to learn more about products and services in payment apps. After you've reviewed the details, select Confirm. After you confirm the sale, QuickBooks learns from your selections and assigns the same product or service to other transactions with the same item. You find confirmed transactions in the Categorized tab. They stay here unless you undo them, which moves them back to the For Review tab. You may receive transactions that are already in QuickBooks. In that case, you'll match the transaction with one already in QuickBooks, which helps prevent duplication. You'll see the match QuickBooks found, and a link to what QuickBooks suggests matching it to. If this isn't right, select Find Other Matches to pick something else. Once everything looks right, select Confirm. You might also see transfers. These happen when you transfer money between PayPal and your bank account. Make sure you assign the right bank account and confirm it. If you've connected the bank account involved in the transaction, you'll also confirm and match it there to prevent duplication. You may also see your expenses. QuickBooks may fill out some of the details for you, like vendor name. Just fill in the remaining details about the purchase, such as category, or product and service, and select Confirm to add it to QuickBooks. If you ever need to change how the PayPal connector works with QuickBooks, select PayPal Settings. This is where you assign accounts the app uses when it records transactions. The PayPal Balance account tracks how much money you have in your PayPal account at any given time, and the Deposit account is the bank account PayPal deposits money to. You can change any of these accounts from this window. Select Advanced to see other accounts the PayPal Connector app sets up and automatically uses. Like the expense account PayPal uses to categorize the fees you're charged for processing sales, the liability account that tracks sales tax you've collected from customers you processed using PayPal, and more. Now you're ready to use the PayPal Connector app with QuickBooks.